Okay, here we are with a de Havilland, as you can see. Um, now, I'm bound to completely stuff this up, but I just thought I'd show you uh, the aircraft. Um, grab it, marketplace. Uh, yeah, look, it's um, it's some tricky bits to it, so that's what I'm going to show you right now. So the first one is is that uh, the guy at the back has got googly eyes. Like he looks panicked, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't want this guy as my passenger, yeah? He looks like he's a bit double-crossed. Okay, apart from the googly eye guy, uh, the thing that you, is going to trap you is how to start this particular plane. Um, it did my head in. I, I did a, I started another video, and I had to end it because it was doing my head in, and until I ended the flight, uh, because I obviously just cheated a bit, I want to show you cold start. So I'm going to show you cold start. So so uh, so the, the, these are the things you need to do. Obviously, your fuel lever needs to be on, which is down here. Uh, the magnetos has to be on, which is there. Now, I've actually gone and put down the chocks, but I think that is it there. So um, uh, if we just pop outside the aircraft, no, it's not. That's the flaps. So this one here is the flaps, but you can put that on your joystick anyway. Now to start the engine, you think it's probably going to be over here or somewhere, right? And I looked around the whole cockpit for, I don't know, 10 minutes looking for this thing, pushing every single button, yada, yada, yada. And you're not going to believe where the position of it is. And be careful because this button here is the manifold uh, for the engine. Whoops. Uh, so you can look inside the engine. I thought that was a nice touch. Um, it's quite detailed, really. Uh, it's, it's really good. So here, in this location, is your starter, right there. Um, obviously, make sure that your mixture, uh, which is there, is in that position. And you, that's where your starter is, right in behind this warning part. So you just that's how you start it. Um, and you can flip that back up. Now, that took me so long to find that spot. So hopefully that's going to help you guys immensely right now. Um, yeah, you've got your radio and everything on in this position. Um, you know, I, you can. Uh, I've got a joystick button to flip through all the different, you know, close-ups which I can change. Oh, yep, that's just great. I've got. Seems to be a bit of an error I find with um, uh, the the view when it comes back to this normal spot. But anyhow. Uh, let's get this bird up underway, and, uh, and then we'll see how we go. So, I'll just take everything off, and off we go. Now, I've got those chocks set. I'll need some ventilation, and I've got to get those chocks off. I put them on, and I can't remember how to turn them off. So, uh, oh no, the flaps. Sorry is on the right hand side that's the flaps button there so is this button here must be to to let it off right. yep it sure is so let's get this thing going up into the air up at queenstown uh I'll just uh i think there's a entrance to the yep the airport's over this way Sun's going down, so I better get up. I haven't got any traffic. Whoops, I haven't got any traffic. Uh, just a degree of flat. I mean, one notch of flat. Okay, and off we go. Up. This thing doesn't have much airspeed to get up off the ground, as you can see. It's actually a really nice plane to fly. Just throw it back a bit. Do a left hand turn. Do a fairly steep land turn. Just go out over the lake. Yep. 
Wintrish Day in Queenstown. It's fine, not much low snow, which is amazing. It's got a great turning circle, this plane. Obviously, it's fairly slow in speed though. Getting up to 80 knots. Up. I've got controls obviously of my joystick. I've got an XF52 running an i9 computer with 32 gig of RAM, decent video card. So let's just see if what those. Oh yeah, it's quite nice outside the plane. Look around, it's great. See what the next one. So, oops. Back in. Um, now there is a uh, seems to be a button to um, oops. If you're in a spin, there's a lever to push to go to. Obviously, it'd be the opposite rudder anyway, but unless it was a stall, something when I was looking for it was something to do with stall. I haven't looked at the obviously, I haven't looked at the manual. It'd be pretty typical. Could lean out the mixture, which you like. Uh, okay, everything's all set. Uh, we'll come back into landing the plane. New Zealand's one of the prettiest places you could probably come to is here. And so I know by I, I fly with on here. Have a look at one of my other videos for that. I did a uh, a video on the uh, twin otter as before as well. So we'll have a bit of a look at that. Whoops, bit too strong. That's right. Right, too heavy. So those, I've seen a few planes do that. And down we come. Yeah, it's a very satisfying, it's quite agile plane actually. Fairly the right sounds and stuff, so yeah, no, highly recommend it. Um, I'm only gonna be taking one passenger, so let's just check on the passenger, see how he thought. Yep, as I thought, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look like a man to give you confidence in flying a plane, does it? Just about done here in Queenstown.
surprised by that. I was expecting the engine noise to be a little bit louder, but that's all right. Go ahead and chain, turn it up a bit. And um, the settings, I probably should have turned it down for the flight that I had today with the Twin Otter. It's a rowdy plane, but boy, it's, it's a super plane, that one. There we go. Um, so, yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed that and uh, just turn the fuel off. Oops, wrong button. And yeah, there we go. You can always pop the hood. Okay, so, yeah, hopefully, if you enjoyed that, leave it in the comments section. And any other plane that you want to have a bit of a look at, let me know. And uh, I've got quite a wide range of planes, and uh, you'll be able to get a bit of a review from me before you actually buy it. Okay, thanks for watching.